All right, Shalom. First of all, giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much love, peace, and blessing to all you hopeful elect brothers out there that's pushing this truth across the four corners of the globe. I'm the brother of Naba Ayasha, the Jim S. Cindy Annapolis camp. Come with another episode to get your mind right. Today, we're going to be dealing with uh, they, Thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind groweth in darkness. What we mean by that is you got a lot of you Negroes, Latino, and Native Americans out here groping in the noonday as the blind groweth in darkness. Because why? You got a lot of our people out here in these other religions and philosophies philosophies which cause them to be what in darkness you see what I'm saying and the noonday is like the highest what is the highest uh, uh, time of the day you know what I'm saying where the sun is out you know what I'm saying it's, it's, if it's the summertime then it's like the hottest point of the day you know and right right now this is the hottest point of the day cause we actually about to hit the nighttime cause the Lord is about to come and destroy this place this is about to be the end. But you got a, a lot of our people out there groping in the noonday, meaning trying to find their way. Like a blind man, what does a blind man do when he's trying to find his way? He try to feel around, like grab, touch a wall, or, or you know what I'm saying, have a have a, his uh, blind man's cane, trying to feel his way through the path to, 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 try, to try to find that path, to try to... Uh, you know what I'm saying? Try to lead this way. And that's what a lot of you Negro, Latino, and Native Americans are doing. By what? Following Buddhism, Islam, uh, Scientology, Mormonism, you know, Egyptology, all these other ways and, and religion instead of seeking counsel of the Lord's words, which is what? The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Bible, of these other scriptures. So back in Deuteronomy 28 and 29, it says, well, this is, well, I never read it, so like it. Well, this is where I got this from, Deuteronomy 28 and 29. It said, And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled, meaning robbed. Not spoiled meaning what the desires of your heart. No, it means oppressed and spoiled meaning robbed every, evermore, and no man shall save thee. That's right. No man can save us except who? Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. But remember, the scriptures say, I shall not meet thee as a man. See what I'm saying? So when the Lord come back in his angelic force, that's when we will be redeemed, meaning what? Being saved. See what I'm saying? Because, like I said, and thou shalt grope at noonday, meaning what? You're going to be out here searching for the truth. The scriptures say, my people have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. So you got a lot of our people out here searching for the truth, but don't know which way to turn. The way to turn is what? Through through the Bible, through the, through the proper knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures, not the churches. The churches will have you continue, continuously groping at noonday like you're blind. Because without this truth, you are blind. Because what did the scripture say? Thy, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. What does the light do? The light, what? Uh, it, it takes away the darkness so you can see where you're walking, where you're going. You, you know what I'm saying? See where you're headed. And that's what this truth does for the elect and the elect only. So if you understand these scriptures, hey, it's a possibility you are of the elect. So you ought to be thanking you how about Shemel Shah for that. Because why? You're no longer walking around as a blind man. You know what I'm saying? You you don't have to no longer touch the walls to try to feel your way to find the door. What is the door? You how about Shemel Shah? It says uh, back in Deuteronomy 20 and 29, And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness. Because uh, uh, when you don't have this light, which is the truth, you are walking as a blind man. See what I'm saying? If you're following, if you're in the Baptist church, the Catholic church, the Pentecostal church, or the Presbyterian church, well, guess what? You're in darkness. See what I'm saying? You, you're trying to find your way, but you can't find it because why? You're, you're blind. You're in darkness. You can't see the light. There's no light in you. Well, what, uh, what's that scripture? Uh, through the Spirit. Let me get it right quick. Isaiah chapter 8. Let me 
Let's see. Isaiah 8 and let me see. 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. So if you're not speaking according to the words of Yahweh by Shimei Awashai, it says what? There is no light in you. And if you don't have no light, that means what? You're blind. You're groping at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness. And thou should not prosper in thy ways because why? The Lord is the one that caused you to prosper. See what I'm saying? The Lord is the one that, that had caused you to have success. See what I'm saying? So you're not going to prosper. Why? Because you're not you're not seeking Yahweh Hashem and Yahweh Shah. You're not trying to be prosperous. Because if you was, then guess what? You'll be following Yahweh Hashem and Yahweh Shah. You won't be following your own ways. But a lot of y'all do follow your own ways. You see what I'm saying? So it says, And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. How are you spoiled? Meaning you're robbed. How are you robbed? Well, a lot of you Negroes, Latino, and Native Americans don't know who you are, so you're robbed. You're robbed of what? Your heritage, your nationality. You don't know you're an Israelite. You're calling yourself, uh, 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 you're calling yourself uh, T Mac from the 42nd block. You know what I'm saying? Uh, West Side Blood or East Side Hoover Crip or whatever. You know what I'm saying? The South Side of Chicago, your GD, or, or, or you're a Vice Lord or Latin King. You're, you've been spoiled of your of your heritage, of your nationality. You don't know who you are. See what I'm saying? You're not calling yourself an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, Benjamin, Levi. You know what I'm saying? Either from Manasseh, Zebulon, or uh, uh, Gad, Reuben, or Ezekiel, or Naphtali. You're not doing that. See what I'm saying? You're calling yourself all these proverbs and bywords. I'm black. Just like this Black Lives Matter. That's you being spoiled. Y'all are Israelites for the Negro, Latino, and Native Americans. Even the, the Israelite foreigners that don't know that they're Israelites, you're being spoiled. See what I'm saying? You're being robbed of your nationality and your heritage. Because the Lord didn't call you none of these things. The Lord called you by your biblical name. It says, uh, and no man shall save thee. That's why the Black Panther Party failed. That's why the, even nowadays the NFAC, the No Fucking Around Coalition, that's why they failed. The Lord brought that down quick. Had a Black Panther last longer than the NFAC. <laughs> the Lord brought that down quickly to show you that what? No man is going to be able to redeem or save you Israelites, but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh when he come back in his angelic force. You can't come out here and form your own coalition thinking that it's going to help uh, deliver and save black people. No. You Israelites are going to be in bondage until when? How about shimmy out shot crack the sky and come and deliver us out this hell hole? That's the only way you're gonna be delivered. This is uh Job chapter 12, verse 25. It said they grope in the dark without light. What is that light? Like we read in Isaiah 8 and 20. If they are teaching out according to this word, is because there is no light in them. See what I'm saying? What gives you the light? This truth, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the words of the Lord. That's what give you life. And it said, and he maketh them to stagger like a drunken man. You ever seen a man so drunk that he can't even walk down a straight line? No, he's staggering. He's going to the left, to the right, forward, backward, about to fall, picking himself up, trying to. And that's how you are when you don't have this truth, man. You're staggering like a drunk man with no, no sense of direction. You're just going wherever your body takes you. See what I'm saying? And a lot of y'all are staggering like a drunk man. You're drunk enough what? These other philosophies. Because the scriptures uh, 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 compare wine to these other doctrines. You see what I'm saying? So that they staggering like blind men because they don't have no sense of direction. They don't have no guidance. They don't have no leadership. Because why? They're into these other religions. Bound down and praying to these other gods, these false gods. You know? <coughs> Ooh, Shlaki. Hell, Buddha, Buddha ain't the way to go. See what I'm saying? Amin Ra ain't the way to go. Harry Krishna is not the way to go. See what I'm saying? Uh, Jehovah Witness is not the way to go. Mormonism not the way to go. Islam not the way to go. See what I'm saying? 
Your own religion is not the way to go. The way to go is what? How about Shimei out of Shai? The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of these scriptures, which is what? This truth. That's the way to go. Not this nonsense that you people have been doing for years, trying to do your own thing and make up your own God. Oh, the acorn God. Oh, I worship you, the leaf God. This is the leaf that fell down from the, the mighty winds of uh, Stanzania, some old nonsense that people follow that nonsense. People start walking around with uh, tree leaves around their heads and on their shirts and stuff. Oh, the mighty tree God. It's the mighty leaf God. No. The way you follow the true power of your how about Shimei was shy, man. So if you don't have this word, guess what? Deuteronomy 28, 29. It says, uh, Deuteronomy 28, 29 says, And thou shalt grope at noonday, as the blind groweth in darkness. I'm trying to find this truth, but don't know which way to go. So you're going to remain in darkness, like a blind man trying to feel his way through life, or trying to feel his way through, trying to find that exit or that door, or trying to find his way across the street, make sure he don't stumble and fall, fall into a ditch, which is a trap. Because a lot of you fell, in, fell, fell into a lot of these traps that Esau set before you. What are all these different religions, all these different nationalities, all these different movements? Like the Black Lives Matter movement, that's a big trap set for you, Negro, Latino, Native American, especially during this whole uh, corona situation. Tuck. See what I'm saying? The only way to go is what? Yeah, how about Shimmy I was shot? No other way. But you people trying to try to find your own way. Therefore, you fall into traps snares and nets. See what I'm saying? So with that, a Baba Ball, Shalom.